So we've heard from a lot of customers over the years that they see a difference in their tone when a pedal's engaged and they're listening to the input buffer on that pedal versus when the pedal's bypassed and they're hearing the true bypass. And it actually can make a pretty dramatic difference in the guitar tone. For example, reverbs, delays, and modulation pedals. Um, so sometimes when you turn on and off uh, these types of pedals, you can get changes in your bass tone, and we wanted to eliminate that. So one of the solutions would be to just use a buffer, and a buffer will make sure that your tone sort of stays the same in both of those states. But most buffers are very fixed function. They only have one sound. So for the Zio, we wanted to come up with something where you had multiple options for different preamp circuits that you could find one that perfectly matched up with your guitar and gave you that tone that you wanted to use for the rest of your pedal board. So guitar pickups can be kind of finicky. They're a, they're a combination of resistance and capacitance and inductance. And the first thing that you connect a guitar to in your pedal board is going to really have a big impact on the tone that you have for the rest of your, your signal. Um, and so for the Zio, we found a way to really measure that interaction between a guitar and those elements that we put into those circuits. And by doing that, we found a way to really optimize each one for the best possible tone. When talking about the ideal microphone preamp, a lot of people use the term wire with gain. And what that means is Basically, it's the same as just plugging in the microphone directly and you don't lose or gain anything. And that's similar to the philosophy behind the JFET mode on the Zio. Uh, JFET mode in this case is more like a guitar cable with gain. And it has very low noise and very low distortion. So we're talking something around 0.003% of distortion, which is extremely clean. This basically is meant to maintain your sound, but just make it louder. JFET mode allows you to add up to 20 dB of clean boost to your signal. In combination with the tone toggle, you can dial in the sound of different lengths of cable. You would use the bright position on the tone toggle if you wanted to replicate something similar to what you use at home, maybe a 5 foot or 6 foot cable. Uh, in the medium position, the tone toggle gives you something similar to a medium sized stage, something around 15 feet of cable would be. And in the dark position, the tone toggle allows you to dial in some tone shaping, um, maybe something similar to a coily cable or a really large cable run that can help tame very bright high end. When we were designing the Zio, we tried a lot of different op amps out. Op amps are usually the center of an analog circuit. And there are some that have been in service for lots of years, like the TLO 72, a lot of pedal companies use that. And it's a good design, but now, Companies like Texas Instruments have come out with a, a new line of Burr Brown op amps that are incredibly high quality. The Burr Brown op amps allow you to really retain the pick attack, feel, and dynamics of your playing without introducing any kind of harshness or unwanted compression um, at that point in the signal chain. <laughs> Thank you.
low cut mode is useful for cleaning up the low end of your signal so that you don't compete with bass instruments. So this could be a bass guitar, kick drum, or maybe keyboards. Um, this allows you not to step on each other as much and to create a muddy uh, mess down at the bottom of your, your mix. This is also useful for using neck pickups or middle position on a guitar with two pickups. Um, you can dial in sort of like a, a more jangly sound but not have to worry about getting lost in the mix because you're too uh, muddy. The low cut mode also does not affect the high or mid frequencies, um, so this allows you to just uh, focus on cleaning up the bass. By reducing the super low frequencies on guitar, you can also increase the headroom and tightness of your amp, especially if you're going into a distorted amp or using the ZO to push an amp into distortion. That'll allow you to get a tighter sound. <laughs> There's a famous EQ that's been used in studios since the 1950s and is still used today called the Pultec. Uh, the Pultec is a unique EQ. It's a passive EQ and it has the ability to both boost and cut the same frequency at once in the low end. Of course, the manual tells you not to do that explicitly, but of course that's what everybody does with it. And what it ends up doing is it, it will allow you to boost the bass, but if you are also attenuating the bass, it kind of cuts out the muddiness that's around that frequency. So you can get a tight low end uh, without all that mud. And so the studio mode on Zio is based around this trick. So it, it allows you to take a little bit of muddiness out of the signal around 300 hertz. Um, it also takes off muddiness from the very low end um, by using a bit of a high pass filter and it gives a nice presence boost in the mid-range um, by creating a little bit of boost around the 4K region which goes all the way to 1K and then uh, uh, above. And this is carefully balanced so that it doesn't give you a ice pick type attack, but it brings out clarity and lets you be heard better in a mix.
Complex mode on the Zio is inspired by an old tape echo unit called the Echoplex. Uh, this was famously used by Eddie Van Halen with the echo off to create a specific kind of guitar tone and to push the amp um, with a signal that was more mid-focused. The Echoplex didn't have a full high frequency or low frequency uh, response, so it created a very focused sound that was really good for that type of music and a lot of other types of music. unit, both the feel and the frequency response were important. There is a bit of a squishy feel to the original unit, uh, which comes from the fact that it's slightly dirty. And when you uh, pair that with a bright pickup, for example, a, a Strat bridge pickup or a Tele bridge pickup, it helps to round off some of those ice pick transients. And this gives a really nice feel. The Eplex mode on the Zio uses a discrete FET input in order to mimic the sound and feel of the original 70s tape echo units. This provides a little bit of distortion and nonlinearity that just kind of gives some vibe to the signal. Mm -hmm. 